everybody. I'm back on a Wednesday. I just harvested um, all of my stuff for farmer's market today. And now I'm gonna finally finish my sign for farmer's market. So what I'm using, vinyl liquid chalk paper. So you can use um, the liquid chalk pens to write on it. And I just really prefer the liquid chalk pens because they're easy to erase, they're not so messy. I can remake my sign as many times as I want because I can erase it. I can turn it into another sign. Um, and these materials are really cheap. A roll of this is like eight bucks. So you can turn it into a bunch of mini signs or one large sign. So, you know, for the last few weeks, I've just been hanging this, but it blows in the wind and it's all crazy. What I'm gonna do now, so I just bought this piece of wood, a very thin piece of wood, maybe an eighth of an inch. And I just painted it white with some exterior paint just to keep the wood nicer longer. And then I'm just gonna attach this to here. Then I'm gonna drill a couple holes with my drill. And then I'll be hanging this sign from the wood with some bungee cords. All right, so, you know, I'm making this sign for myself. You know, this board was 14 bucks, but I could make three of these size signs and maybe or a bunch of smaller ones uh, for 14 bucks, you know, so 20 bucks and I could make, you know, three different signs. So it's pretty cool and it's totally erasable, removable. I can keep revising my sign or my language and then maybe someday when I'm making some more money at farming, maybe then I can invest in a nicer sign. And by then I'll have, you know, the language that I want, everything that I want will be figured out. I'll have a logo and, and all that stuff. So this is a great way to make a temporary sign. So I'm just gonna show how I'm gonna finish this off. First, I'm just gonna brush off any dirt that I got on here, moving it. I don't want the dirt to get in the, in the way of the adhesion. I'm gonna have some space at the top and bottom to kind of frame the sign. You know, somewhere about right there is gonna be good. So what I'm gonna do is put some weight down. I'm gonna get this nice and lined up, and I cut this board with a table saw, so that's already not gonna be perfectly straight, but. So this line here and the edge are now parallel. They look pretty darn good by eye. Okay, so now I'm gonna start removing the adhesive. Okay, so what I want now is I need something flat to push out the air and to make this thing sit as flat and straight as possible. So you, you know, you can use the back of a notebook, the back of a comb, something that's soft-ish and um, won't, won't scratch anything. Got this first layer down. Peel this all the way back. And then you can see I've kept, I'm keeping the tail in line with everything to keep it straight. And then as I lay it out here, I'm just gonna, you know, by eye, make sure that I'm doing it really straight. Definitely recommend using another person. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take the notebook here. So far so good, it's working. It's working pretty good. I've got the, the backing lined up with the other edge now. So now, I can just kind of guide it in. Fold the backing in half. Stretch it out again. I'm gonna stretch it to the edge of the backing. That gives me another, you know, foot section to work with. Make sure I'm still in line. I'm gonna come through. Put it down again. Okay, we'll do the same thing again. Okay, next section. There it is. My wife was the lovely person who drew this. My handwriting is way too ugly. But here's what it looks like now. So now it's all in white. It stands out a heck of a lot more. Um, and now I'm gonna be able to mount it. So I wanna get all the bubbles out now. And I'm just hesitant to use that notebook because I'm scraping off all of my writing and I need to use this sign today. So I don't really wanna redraw it. All right, and we're good. 
So now what I want to do is mount this crazy thing. So what I'm going to do is just drill a hole in each corner and I'm going to do the smallest hole I can do. So one of the things I always want to show in my videos is just, you know, my mistakes, my successes, uh, my progression and how I learned from my mistakes. And so here's a great example. Um, I didn't think about the most important thing is that it has to fit in my truck, right? I need to take it to the market. And so it ended up being about five inches too long. I could bend it to make it fit, but it's all good. It ended up working out. You can see it cut off a tiny bit of the lettering. I just need to redraw that little part. No big deal. Um, so I got it short enough to fit now, and then it's bending a lot, as you can see. So what I'm gonna do is use, I'm gonna use a three by eight by eight foot thing here. And this is the same exact things I use for my stakes. These are the, I love these things. I can use them for a million different projects. So I'm gonna put this at the very top and then I'll be drilling in from the other side. And then that'll give the whole thing a lot more structure and strength. I'm gonna drill my holes for my bungees for it hangs. So it'll become a lot stronger when it hangs. And unfortunately this, I think this is like a type of laminated wood. And I actually chose it because it was laminated because uh, it was smoother on one side. So I thought the paint would go on better and I thought that the final black sticker would go on better because it was flatter. But you can kind of see those edges they're starting to like separate on this board not good so by putting this piece of wood here that'll prevent that from going further i'll see how strong it is and i may add a bottom one as well i'll be using some one and one quarter inch screws i'm going to screw it in from the opposite side okay so because this is sticking up uh, this is actually too long Three quarters, fine. And that should be plenty. Eh. So I'm gonna put one more here and here. I just need to drill some two holes through this thing so that my bungees will fit on. I got a lot stronger structure to go into now. So I'm gonna go, I went one size up on my drill bit to a 7 32nd. All right, so here's the final product. Super strong now. I had to switch out the bungees to some thinner ones, um, but perfect. It's super strong now, not so wobbly. So yeah, I'm definitely confident recommending making a sign like this. All right guys, hope you uh, found that useful and uh, let me know if you have any other ideas how to improve the sign or make the sign better or maybe you have a way better way to do this. So let me know. All right, guys, have a great day. Happy gardening, happy farming, and I'll see you in the next video.